And you see Helena Taylor's new tweet. Oh, did she tweet? Oh, this is huge. What'd she say? It is coming, you know, I'll just do it on the stream. I'll read it here because she made a lot of tweets. It's come to my attention that some people are calling me a liar and a gold digger. I feel the need to defend myself and my re reputation in the industry. See thread. Gold digging is not the right word. That's not really applicable here. As I posted on part three of my video thread, I explained that their first offer was too low. That offer was $10,000 total. Remember, this is a $450 million franchise. I then wrote in Japanese to Hideki Kamiya asking for what I was worth. I thought that as a creative, he would understand. Hold on. He replied saying how much the value, how much he valued my contribution to the game and how much the fans wanted me to voice the game. I was offered an extra five grand. So I declined to voice the game. Heard nothing from them for 11 months. Then they offered me a flat fee to voice the same line, some lines for $4,000. Any other lies such as 4,000 for five sessions are total fabrications. There were not extensive negotiations. I've been informed of ridiculous, fictitious, oh, fi I've been informed of ridiculous fictions such as I asked for 250 k dollars. I'm a team player. I was just asking for a fair living wage in line with the value that I bring to the game. I was played. I was paid a shockingly low total of 3,000 euros total for the first game. A little more for the second. I wanted a voice there. I've drummed up interest in this game ever since I started on Twitter in 2011. So one thing that stands out. She never said that she was offered $10,000 total across any of those games. Did I miss that? She had always made it seem like they had only offered her 4000 total. And also, this isn't even a lie either, by the way. According to the articles, the total would have come out to fifteen grand. So this right here, the ten k plus an extra 5 k is fifteen grand. She's confirming that. I don't know why she's saying any other lies about 4 k for 5 sessions are total fabrications. That Like, she is just confirming that that was an accurate thing. Interesting. That's pretty rough. She said they declined that and then offered four grand. Yeah, but the, this doesn't make any sense. So she declined 10,000. So then they offered 4,000 in total. I don't think so. Oh, she declined 10k, so we'll offer 4 this time. This this had to just be for a single session. Thanks the prime kick ass. It matches up with the timeline that she was offered a 4k cameo. Was that confirmed? Cuz then that would match, yeah. One of the reports I read is she was offered a cameo after she declined and they were going to pay her $4,000 for like an hour of her time. Which I think is very fair as a cameo since she declined the main role. So that is a confirmed statement then? Okay. Then yeah. She's basically just confirmed everything from the report as being accurate. He's the prime jungle. What she's saying in her video is that she wasn't lying. Yeah, but this contradicts that. Because now she's being open. That offer was 10 grand. Which she never said in any of her three videos. She had said a flat rate of 4k. Total. She explicitly said that. This, this 10k was never mentioned by her as their offer. He's the prime starlin. But is 10 grand a lot? Well, that that's what I said. There's plenty of room to debate on, like, what voice actors should be making, like, at a professional level for AAA games. There's plenty of room for a debate there on that being not enough. But that's not the point here. The point is, 
she misled everyone on what was actually going on. Unlucky. I think that was a very bad way of bringing attention to voice acting rates and pay. Pretty scummy. She had everyone thinking it was 4K for the whole game. Exactly. Because she did explicitly say that. She said $4,000 for the entire game. She said that. I even was questioning if she said that. I went back on stream and it came right from her mouth in the first video. She said that explicitly. Show where she said it? Sure. Oh, whoops, I forgot I was on the subreddit. Did she delete? Oh my god, she deleted part one, didn't she? Holy shit. Oh no, here it is, it just didn't come up. Final offer to do the whole game as a buyout flat rate is four thousand US dollars. Bang. It's just a quiet video. I don't know what to tell you. She she recorded this with terrible sound quality. It's just a quiet video. I I I don't know what to do about it. It's maxed on OBS and it's maxed here. It's just a quiet video. But yeah. She out she outright said it's four thousand dollars for the whole game, which is just blatantly wrong, which she even confirmed in her own thread here. I didn't even realize she had more. Thanks to five gift subs, Biscuit. Appreciate it. I don't know why she's posted this twice and I also don't know the relevance. They're not even discrediting what you have to say. You've discredited yourself as well. They just posted the facts, which prove you wrong, which you also just proved yourself wrong. I don't know. I don't understand what her in game was here. What a disaster. What an absolute fucking disaster. Wow. I should think she didn't lie, but is misleading. This is just this is just a lie, though. I'm not strolling back down to it, but what you what I just played, where she said, "What did they think I was worth? Four thousand dollars for the no for the entire game, four thousand dollars USD." It's not even a lie by omission. That's just blatantly wrong, because that wasn't the offer. She even says right here, "I explained their first offer too low, and that offer was ten thousand dollars." That's already more than what she's said. She then was offered an extra five grand. And then the $4,000 was for a cameo. Not the entire game, for a cameo. After she had already declined. So it's not even a lie by omission, she's just lying. It's a $450 trillion game. True. True. Thanks to tier 1 S100. How 
How are you still talking about this? What? She just made it. What do you mean, how am I still talking about it? She made it nine tweets an hour ago, all proving that the reports were the accurate ones and she lied. What do you mean, how am I still talking about it? Just happened. I stay on the cutting edge. So they offered her 10k, she declined. They offered her an extra 5k, she declined again. They hired someone new, she found out, wanted back, and after 11 months they offered her a cameo for 4k. She got mad at that and made the tweets. Yeah, that seems to be the timeline. She said, final offer was 4K, keyword final, she misled. Nah, because now you're reading into it in hindsight. That's not that's not even misleading, though. That's still just a lie. Because the way she says it, the final offer for the whole game, that's the whole sentence. The final offer for the whole game was 4000 US dollars. Now, of course, looking back on it now, she could have been saying the final offer was the 4K for the cameo, but leaving out the cameo part. And she did say flat rate. That's another big keyword. She did say flat rate. There's the resub cable. No, again, I think there's plenty of room for a debate on voice actor pay. 100%. This was not the way of doing it, though. This was absolutely awful. Right back into reading just like Yu-Gi-Oh. You want to know the crazy thing? All of her tweets right here, all nine of these, probably don't even equate to a single Yu-Gi-Oh card worth of text. Isn't that wild? Hey, thanks for your sub, Josh. I might be up for that, maybe. Perhaps. I've been watching some Rune RuneScape Chronicles recently. I could be down. At some point... Things are resub emerald. If she had said all this from the start, I think most people would have had the same reaction about how underpaid the offer was. It's possible. I, I have no idea because, I mean, we can only speculate. If she had just been honest, like, hey, I'm not voicing Bayo 3 because I really feel like voice actors aren't getting the pay they deserve in the AAA gaming space. Uh, here's the offer I was made. Or here's the offer Platinum Games made me. Here's the amount of hours they expected me to work for this pay. I found it to be low, so I walked. Like she could have still drummed up plenty of support that way. Some people would agree with her. Some people would disagree. But that's the whole point of having the conversation. Thanks, you said Timmy. Are you going to play the game? Yep. I still got to play Bayo 2 tomorrow. So I'll be busting through Bayo 2 tomorrow. And then Bayo 3 comes out Friday. <clears throat> yeah, it's a... The... What was it? What were the reports? Four thousand dollars per session, or yeah, per session for five sessions, and each session was four hours. 
So it came out to $1,000 an hour, something like that, according to the Bloomberg report, was the offer. Is there any possible reason for Helena Taylor to have tried something like this only to sabotage herself? That's what I've been really trying to figure out. I don't know. I don't know what the goal was. Like, I don't see what she possibly thought could come from this. Like, let's say, you know, here, let's just picture a world where she she was telling the truth, which she's now confirmed she wasn't. But let's let's picture a world where she was. Best case scenario... She financially hurts Platinum Games and Nintendo a little bit with some people that boycott the game and don't play it. But even in that situation, how does that help her? Game companies are going to look at her and what she did there and be skeptical of hiring her because what if she does that again? Like, you know, I feel like we're paying her a good rate, but what if she's secretly not happy with it? What if she blasts us online and starts up a controversy? Like, then she becomes a flight risk for all the other game companies as well as all the other projects. She'd be unhirable regardless. For a lot of places. He's a prime dark wolf. Maybe Gearbox can hire her. <laughs> Man. Gearbox. My god. Hey, new Tales from the Borderland game. Am I right? That shit went hard. Wasn't she leaving the game industry anyway? Maybe she wanted to do it with a boom? I feel like something like this, though, translates to every industry you want to go into when it comes to entertainment. All of those mediums are connected, whether it's traditional acting, theater acting, voice acting, all of it's in the same general blanket of the entertainment medium. So you're going to look at Helena Taylor for, let's say, some upcoming play, right? You And you'll find this whole scandal, and it'll make you skeptical, I have to imagine, like, oh, so this is what happened at her last occupation. This is a little concerning for us. I mean, that'd be my guess at least, because all of it feels connected. Especially since she broke the NDA. Yeah, exactly. Why do you think the voice acting union doesn't want to do more for their members? I am not the guy to ask. I think the VA union is, like, impossible to get into. Legitimately fucking impossible. Back when I was actively trying to do voice acting, I could not get shit, nor could I be a part of that union. So that, that shit crash and burn for me pretty quick. It is so... Elitist is probably the wrong word. But it is run with like an iron fist. Exclusive would probably be the right word. Gatekeeping is probably the wrong word. Exclusive would be probably the more accurate term for the VA union. They are so incredibly selective like on how you actually get to be in the union. And most projects these days have to go through the union. So you just don't get like actual work unless you're like you're in the club. Same with all unions. 
SAG actually is pretty generous. I, I shit on SAG a lot, the Screen Actors Guild. But when it comes to, like, getting into that for movies or TV shows, you only need three spoken lines in the final cut. That's pretty generous. At least last time I checked, that was the main requirement. Crunchyroll has been very anti-union recently. They refuse to even have meetings with... Yeah! You just brought up something interesting we talked about a bit. The voice actor for Mob in Mob Psycho 100 for the English dub. The man just asked about the union and they dropped him. Straight dropped him for asking about the union. I was like speaking Voldemort's name out loud. He made a video on it. I think his name's Kyle Kyle McCartney. Or McCarley. Kyle McCarley. He made a video explaining what happened here. It's interesting. He was really good as Mob too. I haven't I haven't watched the English dub for Mob Psycho. He said he would do the work if they just had a meeting about potentially hiring Union in the future, and they said no. Yep. I recommend checking the video out if you're interested in it. I think it's a, a fascinating topic, and a sad one, obviously, because he just lost the main role in Mob Psycho just for even talking about the Union, which is just fucked up. <laughs> would you let Moist Esports unionize? What would that be? The Moist Esports Union? <laughs> so just our players in a union? Yeah, sure, man. If, if they'd like, that's... I mean, that's fine with me. I don't really... It doesn't bother me. I do pretty much whatever they want anyway. I don't even know what else they could ask from me. <laughs>